they make a dramatic move here, including another dramatic move by hiring Jeff Saturday, who is in the team's ring of honor. He was a part of the Super Bowl championship team. He made six Pro Bowls, but only has limited coaching experience at the high school level. And by doing that, the Colts bypass former head coaches on their staff, Gus Bradley and John Fox. You have Bubba Ventrone, who's a rising head coaching candidate, will probably get a job someplace here in the coming years. And you go to a guy whose resume looks a lot like the one that uh, Josh McCown had when the Texans were heavily criticized for interviewing him back in January. The Colts, Ian, take the next step by actually hiring someone who's never coached in college, never coached in the NFL. Seems fairly apparent that for, that uh, Jim Irsay has taken the reins of this operation at this point, and he's hoping some outside-the-box thinking might yield some outside-the-box answers for a team that needs him. Imagine being a very qualified minority candidate and seeing Jeff Saturday hired as interim coach with literally no experience except being a high school coach in Georgia. I mean, it's, it's mind-boggling, and it's, you know, if there's frustration around the league from – really qualified assistants, coordinators, especially those who are minorities with this. Certainly all of that is understandable and no doubt we are going to be hearing more about that as we should over the next couple of weeks, regardless of what happens with the Colts hiring.